Congresswoman Terry Sewell is making stops in her congressional district to meet constituents and inform them about her role in representing them in the federal government. Sewell made a stop today in Uniontown. WSFA 12 News reporter Monet Stevens has the details. New at 10. Congresswoman Terry Sewell is in Uniontown to listen to the needs of her constituents and also connect them to resources to help them improve their quality of life. One of the topics that was discussed in depth was how Uniontown can access monies from the bipartisan infrastructure deal that was passed in 2021. My hope is by explaining to, the, to my constituents what the money is in those bills and them understanding that it's block granted to the state. The state of Alabama is sitting on $2 billion. The federal government sending it over the next five years for infrastructure improvement. Uniontown's new mayor, Ronald Miller, says infrastructure improvement is the city's biggest need as they have been facing a water and sewer issue. It's been delayed because of city government for a while. Miller says part of the reason for the delay was the city not having enough funds for the water and sewer projects. They've had to rely on grants to begin the project. Uh, we are economically depressed, which is a fancy word for we are a poor community. They will have to figure out wastewater next. And we have to address the problem of pumping our wastewater to some treatment plant, which we don't have and which we can't afford. Which will require some more funding that will be funneled down from the federal government. So the money is at the state agency. We know that we need to apply for it. So that's, you know, that's what we need to know. Monet Stevens, WSFA 12 News, Uniontown. And Mayor Miller says the infrastructure parts of the water and sewer project should be completed within the next two years.